Let's use the caliper to measure the distance between two feature points. Do a quick review of the processing that I've already done. I found the right side edge here, the bottom side edge. I found the intersection of those two points. You can see the little green crosshair there. And then I've set the coordinate system based on that intersection and also aligned with the object. I'm then using the edge detector based on these two holes right there, and it's returning feature points one and two. It's important to make sure that the region of interest associated with our edge detector follows the coordinate system that was defined in the previous step. Now I'll use caliper again, and I need to select two points for the distance feature. And that's the one that comes up by default. It shows a number of points available. I'm in particular interested in the results from the edge detector, and so that would be uh, point number six and point number seven. Hit measure, it tells us the distance between those two points is 2.12 centimeters. The label here is showing up as caliper one, that's the generic default name. I'll make it more specific and say that's the distance between the two holes. Now once you've specified that name, if I go back and reopen this step, then you'll see that the whole distance label that I typed in earlier, that's now appearing.